हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन जोमेट्री टुडे विल डिस्कस सेंटर्स ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटर्स नंबर वन इन सेंटर और इट इज इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ एंगुलर बाइसेक्टर राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी एव ए ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इन दिस इफ वी बाइसेक दिस एंगल एंड इफ वी बाइसेक दिस एंगल एंड इफ वी बाइसेक दिस एंगल दिस पॉइंट इज नोट एज इन सेंटर एंड वी कैन ड्रॉ अ सर्किल This is center of inner circle. That's why it is known as in center. Now, next center, we will discuss its property further. Next center is centroid. It is intersection point of median. Now, what is median? First of all, understood what is median. we are a triangle abc if we draw a line joining point a to midpoint of opposite side like this this is midpoint this is known as median median is a line joining any vertex to the midpoint of opposite side and from this if we draw another median and from this point we draw another median the point where these three sides intersect this point known as centroid and it is denoted by g one more important point about this median is first point let this is z this is median now g will divide this median in the ratio 2 is to 1 if this side is 6 this would be 4 this would be 2 and if we join all these three points these three have equal area part means area of agb area of agc and area of bgc would be equal this property is very important for examination point of view next center circum center it is intersection point of perpendicular bisector See, if we have a triangle, and if we bisect this side like this, this side like this, and this side like this, means this all sides are perpendicular to the side and also bisected. This point is known as circum center, and this point is denoted by O. And what is circum center? Circum circle it is a circle drawn outside of the triangle. It is known as circum center. Now. a uh, important point all these three would be different for different triangles for uh, isosceles triangle <coughs> now last point ortho center it is intersection of altitude or perpendicular drawn from the opposite side to the Opposite vertex to the side. If we draw a perpendicular like this, if we draw a perpendicular like this, and if we draw a perpendicular like this, this point is known as ortho center and denoted by O. Friends, uh, the property of these center is very important. First of all, note it down, and uh, I am going to discuss some important property. Okay. So, so uh, important first property is uh, number one. In case of scalene triangle, in case of scalene triangle, all these center are different. And in equilateral triangle, all these centers are same. Means in case of equilateral triangle. 
angle bisector is same as median is same as perpendicular and is same as perpendicular bisector so in case of equilateral all centers are same and uh, in radius of equilateral triangle is given by delta upon s right where delta is area and s is semi perimeter or we can calculate the value of this uh, area of equilateral triangle with side a is root 3 by 4 a square and s is 3 a by 2 now while calculating we get root 3 by 6 a this is formula for in center of equilateral triangle or a circumcenter r circumcenter is like this for example we have equilateral triangle this this is circumcenter and this is in center in radius r or this is circum radius now the value of r is abc upon 4 delta or in case of equilateral triangle all sides are equal so we write a upon 4 root 3 by 4 a square right 4 cancels 2 a cancels so a by root 3 or we can calculate this very easily in case of equilateral triangle median is same as angle bisector is same as orthocenter the point G centroid is the circumcenter or orthocenter or in center now this part is 2 this part is 1 as we discussed in median part let this side be A so this would be A by 2 ok now using right angle triangle we can calculate AD AD square plus BD square is equal AB square now AD square have to, we have to calculate BD square is A square by 4 is equal A square so AD square is equal 3A square by 4 or AD is equal root 3A by 2 now uh, its circumcenter capital R which is AG now AG is capital R and it is 2 by 3 of AD that is root 3A by 2 or we can write it as uh, 2 by root 2 by 3 into root 3a by 2 it is root 3a by 3 this is same if we multiply it by root 3 both sides would be a by root 3 got it either you write or learn this formula or you calculate like this or a small r this part that is gd it is 1 by 3 of ad or ad we have calculated like this it would be 1 upon 3 root 3a by 2 or root 3a by 6 that we have calculated like this ok so uh, it is very important for examination purpose calculation of in centers in radius and circum radius of a equilateral triangle note it down now next property for right angle triangle number one ortho center is the point of right angle it means if we have a right angle triangle uh, what is the definition of ortho center it is the intersection point of perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex to side if we draw perpendicular from this vertex to this side it would be same side AB from C it would be AB and from this it would be BD so intersection point is this in case of right angle triangle, <coughs> ortho center is the point of right angle. This is what our ortho center. And one more important circum center <coughs> is midpoint of hypotenuse. So R would be AC by 2 and a small r that is in, in center in radius. It is perpendicular plus base minus hypotenuse by 2. This formula is important for all examination. Note it down. In case of right angle triangle, in, in radius and circum radius can be calculated using these two well formulas. Next problem. In case of obtuse angle triangle, in case of obtuse angle triangle, circumcenter and 
ऑर्थो सेंटर आर ऑलवेज आउटसाइड ऑफ द ट्राइंगल दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन आस ऑन दिस प्रॉपर्टी इन केस ऑफ अप टू सेंगल ट्राइंगल सर्कम सेंटर एंड ऑर्थो सेंटर आर ऑलवेज आउटसाइड ऑफ द ट्राइंगल एंड इन केस ऑफ एक्यूट एंगल ट्राइंगल ऑल सेंटर्स आर ऑलवेज इन साइड ऑल सेंटर आर इन साइड द ट्राइंगल एंड सेंट्रॉइड एंड इन सेंटर्स ऑलवेज इन साइड द ट्राइंगल ओके नाउ वील डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आज इन द एग्जामिनेशन बेस्ड ऑन इन सेंटर एंड सर्कम सेंटर This is question number वन Note it down. Note it down, and I am going to paste it here. Now the question is: O and C are respectively the ortho center and circum center of an acute angle triangle PQR. The points P and Q are joined and produced to meet the side Q R and S. If angle P Q S is 60 and angle Q C R is 130, then R P S. So, diagram. We have uh, acute angle triangle P Q R. O is the ortho center and circum center C. Now, the points P and Q, P and O. This is ortho center point. Let this is O. When it is joined, it would be perpendicular on this side. First theorem. um uh, it meet at s okay and it is given that angle pqs this angle is 60 degree and qcr c is circum center let this is c qcr is 130 and as we know that circum center is a circle like this this angle is 130 from circle theorem Angle on center is double angle on circumference. Now the angle on center is 130, so it would be 65 degree. We have to calculate RPS. RPS, right? This angle is 60 degree. Okay. This 90. This would be 30 degree. As the sum of angle in a triangle is 90 degree. Now this complete is 65. This 30. This would be 35. So our correct answer is B. Note. Next question. No discussion. Two medians AD and BE of triangle ABC intersect at G at right angle. Right. This is what. Ah, uh, very. Uh, important diagram. It would be like this. We have to make a diagram in such a way. A, B, C. This is median A D. This is median B E. Okay. Now it is given that it intersect at 90 degree, and also given that A D is 9 and B E is 6. we have to calculate bd we have to calculate this value okay now uh, we have discussed that this is g and it divide this in the ratio 2 is to 1 now ad is 9 so gd will be 1 by 3 of ad it is 1 by 3 of 9 or 3 this side is 3 now bg bg is 2 by 3 of b As we said that two is to one, the ratio of this part is two is to one. B is six, two by three into six, so it is four. So this side is four, this side is three. This angle is ninety degree. Using Pythagoras, four three, this would be five. And so our answer is five. It is very good question. Note it. I am going to discuss next question. Okay, write this question.
This is question number three. Okay. Okay. O be the in center of triangle ABC and D be the point on the side BC of triangle such that O D is perpendicular to BC. Okay. It is given that A B C in triangle ABC. D is the, uh, O is the in center. O is the in center means it is angular bisector. This angle equal. This is O. And we have drawn a perpendicular from O to B C. O D D B point on side B C such that O D is perpendicular. If angle B O D, B O D is given as 15 degree. We have to calculate angle A B. We have to calculate this angle. As O is circumcenter, this angle would be equal. Uh, this is 90, this is 150, so it would be 75. And BO is angular bisector because O is in center. Hence, this would also be 75. So, combined angle would be 150. See next question. I is the in center of triangle ABC. If angle ABC is 60 degree, angle BC is 80 degree, then the, then the angle BIC. Okay, pause it and try to solve it. Hmm. I is the center of triangle ABC if angle ABC is 60 degree. Okay. ABC in center is I, so it would be angle bisector. Now, given that ABC is 60 degree and BCA it is 80 degree, then angle BIC, okay, join this and join this. It is angular bisector 30, 30, it is 40, 40. This is 30 plus 40, 70, it would be 110. Answer is C option. No doubt. Okay, see the last question. O is the ortho center of obtuse angle triangle ABC. If angle B is obtuse and angle AOC is 70, then angle ABC is. It is very good question. Ask in SSC 2013. See the solution. Friends, as I discussed, in case of ortho center for obtuse angle triangle, it is always outside of the triangle. So, uh, in this case, it is ortho it is obtuse angle let this is the triangle this is a this is b and it is given that angle b is ortho uh, obtuse so how can we get its ortho center we extend this side and drop perpendicular from this side this is like this and we'll extend this side drop perpendicular to this is our o given that this angle is 70 degree and it is ortho center we have to drop perpendicular from vertex to opposite side. This is 70, this 90, this 90. And it is a quadrilateral. Sum of angle of a quadrilateral is 360. It would be 110. And this is vertically opposite. It is 110 again. So the answer of this question is B option 110. Friend, today we discuss different centers of the triangle. Uh, in the next video, we will discuss more concept on geometry. Till then, it's Bharat Gupta saying all the best for your exam. If you found any problem in mathematics, then mail your problem to India Gupta at the rate of hotmail.com. And also, if you like my videos, then subscribe because I am going to upload more and more videos. It will be always helpful for you. Okay, thanks.